Hey everybody, uh, I'm gonna do the devil challenge again. We're gonna, to be honest with you, oh my god, the frames. Um, start it up. To be honest with you, we're gonna skip by a lot of the dialogue, and you're gonna say, please, I can't take another day of the devil challenge, it's too much. We're gonna be fine, okay? I think if the, apparently, I was reading the Steam forums, because I was like, is anybody else as mad about this devil trash is, as I am? And we must I'm mad at my own self for thinking that there was a nice way to do it that could save the demon while also saving ourselves, but, uh, I was also, you know, mad about the way that it happened. Literally exactly the same start here. Reaper's Arrow, 8 Fame. Lord Apollyon, hello. Yeah, greet him graciously. Maybe we should be mad at him instead, I don't know. Gladiator's Visage? Sure. Equip it. Why not, dude? Lord Apollyon. There he is, right at the end there. We gotta walk past the High Priestess to get to him, but that's okay. Apparently, there are other ways to solve the mission. The Dark One seeks to claim you. Your soul is forfeit. Okay, so Soothsayer just actually doesn't work on this one. That's why I should read more frequently. Yeah, I know, High Priestess. I don't have the stuff that you need. Um, there's other ways to beat the mission, but uh, we're just going to do the potion one. Yeah, I know. I'm hunched. Blah, blah, blah. Do not fall to despair. Uh, I'm sorry, but I have fallen to despair. We got a much worse uh, set of equipment right now. Like, we don't have the Mask of Holy Fortunes or anything like that, but I still have faith that pretty soon we'll be able to get through this. Phase 1 is essentially already done. Guardian Angel's a lovely blessing. Revive your companion at the beginning of each new map. Uh, how's that gonna work? After all your rerolls, reroll your lowest dice. Acceptable. Deft Eye. Reduce the speed of wheel gambit. I.E. We'll get rid of that as soon as possible. This might end up being like a 15 minute Hand of Fate 2 episode, but I hope you'll oblige me as I go through it here because I really want to get this off my back so I can move on and feel more positive without... This thing is like an artery blockage right now. Like, sure, I could go to work, but I'd rather go to the hospital and get it freaking removed so it's not there, you know, poisoning me. Alright. Yeah, it can't heal her. The Dark One seeks her. Blah, blah, blah. Leave whenever you're ready. Sweet. Shadow over Rumstock. We're aware the mayor is unhappy with Malaclips. And as a result, we'll go there. It'll unveil everything else on the map. Illicit trade could be good here. Seems like a, maybe an average kind of setup. Uh, they will not let us take Malaclips because we don't have 40 fame. That's acceptable. Start with illicit trade. All right. We definitely want Mask of Holy Fortunes or Imperial Armor. I'll take Mask of Holy Fortunes, I think. And then we get engaged in combat? Yes. That's fine. Uh, so apparently, I, without spoiling things, if you drink the potion, it still gives you like a 40% chance to fail. So we still want to stack ourselves up for chance cards uh, as much as possible. Man, we look real stupid in this mask, but I'll accept it. Attack, please! Okay! So yeah, I, I just want you to know that if you're like, I'm tired of seeing the same mission, rest assured, your boy is in the exact same boat. Uh, I'm trying to be better about finishing games. As always, I do come to my own defense to some extent. No, no, he shot me right in the face. Uh, and say that I play a lot of games that literally never end, so... Some of the complaints people give me for canceled series, I'm like, you got it, 100%, I'm roasted. Some of them I'm like, you know, Dead Cells, that game is incomplete, there's no way for it to even be finished right now. Um, but regardless, please, no! Um, I felt like I did two damage and killed him, that's hilarious. I felt like if I didn't get the devil mission off my back, I was probably going to be much more likely to quit Hand of Fate 2 before the end. And the end is so close that uh, you could even say it's nigh. But the end is so close that I uh, I would be loath to do it. So that's my main reasoning for completing the, the devil mission over and over again. Because if we fail it, I will, you know, be very angry with myself and with the game. And that's not fair to either party in this situation, I think. Maybe. Maybe it's fair to the game. I still quite like it. 
Reaper's arrow. Sure. Equip it. 25 life. And that's it. Uh, what's next? Gray Traveler. Okay, so we will kill the devil here. Because we know we can make the potion. Strike the creature from behind. General store with no gold. Oh, I didn't mean to leave. I'm going too fast. Slow down. Hello, Lord Apollyon. I don't have the fame. Is there any chance that you could uh, give me a chance card gambit? That's the spirit. No need to duplicate yet. Again, we have a 66% chance because one of the cards is going to glow red. And we have the ability to repick. So, there you go. Good start. Another win. 24 fame. And uh, I'll improvise all future conversations. Hey, it's me, the mayor. I don't want to let him go. Ah, well, don't worry. We'll kill him for you. Ooh, but he's been such a jabroni. I want to burn him at the stake at the full moon. And I'm like, don't sweat it. We'll take care of him. We'll burn him at the stake at the fuller moon. You got nothing to worry about. Hey, it's me, the CEO of Comcast. I promise that even if net neutrality gets repealed, we won't raise prices. By the way, you owe me 150 gold for your friend's safety. Wonderful. There he is, up there. So I was thinking that, ooh, we could really use some food. Obviously, we'll visit Gold Mountain, draw uh, three gold gain, or four gold gain cards. It's an extremely good card to be able to gain, like, potentially 90 gold. And then we will explore Goblin Town. And um, this might be a good opportunity to use the blacksmith, actually. We didn't have this chance last time. Uh, I think I'll choose again. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, let's go. An ancient goblin, wrinkled as a prune, is selling an array of teas. He places a bag in your hand and shakes his little head when you offer payment. I am happy knowing the tea will either strengthen you greatly or kill you. Hey, 15 food. That's actually perfect. How does a tea logistically give us 15 food? I have no idea, but thank you either way. And we get moved over here. The Lord of Polyon. Hello, my friend. Uh, I do not have the gold. Yes, I will engage myself in your gambit. This is a tough one, admittedly. Oh, redraw. Oh, he's done it. I felt like I followed it. Maybe it was just luck, though. Thanks for the gold, nerd. I actually almost had enough. Where's my devil friend? Gambling Hansel. Okay, um, get out of the way. The soldiers rush past you and shake Hansel down, sending a steady stream of gold coins onto the floor. This guy's loaded, one of them exclaims. Eventually, the coins stop falling, and the soldiers, plus some of the other patrons, set to collecting as much of the treasure as possible. Hansel uses the commotion to escape out the side door as a few coins roll your way. You gotta roll a three or better. That should be easy. Gain eight gold. What's that steel general doing there? No? Well, alrighty. Hello, the devil, who was also Michael Kane. Oh, uh, you, you gotta... Give me your blessings. I will do so. Um, allies return. I do not care about. Goodbye. Deft eye. Never gonna see a wheel gambit. Fate's path. Goodbye. Let's go. We get to keep two good ones this time. Alright. Alright. Bring your gold up here. Approach the markets. Maybe we should do things differently, but that's okay. Hey, thanks so much uh, for choosing to go up to the sports package. Uh, you'll only have 34% uh, downtime this month. High treason. Estrella is like, come on. I'm over here in the Imperial Justice Tower. Lord Apollyon, I wish not to speak with you this time. Cunning I've man. Wondered why the mages organized in my day. I'm gonna trade the dice like gambit away for hopefully imperial idea. armor is what I want here. Sacrificial bond, imperial armor. Let's go. We want to, we leverage our blessings to get things that can actually give us a, a better chance on the chance gambit. Because apparently the challenge does come down to luck and observation. So, um, I, I think we've given ourselves the best chance. Dark alleys. Three of Arcane and a Blight Terror. Wow, that's actually like a pretty sizable combat. Uh, or Gambler's Jewel. Hmm. 
Let's go for the combat, honestly. This mission's going too fast. I hate fighting mages, and there's three of them. But a Blight Terror is not that bad with a hammer. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling like, you know, we're going to give ourselves every chance here because we've made every mistake you could conceivably make. Goodbye, shaman friend. What are you doing? Oh my god. That's too many attacks coming in all at once, right? I forgot about, uh, I mean, Dre for one, but stop. We got to stay extremely mobile here. Some things have got to go. Start clearing out the riffraff. I'm feeling better. Don't you snare me. Don't you snare me. Smack. Rez. All those times that it looked like we got hit, we didn't take any damage. Thankfully. The screen just turned red temporarily. Yo, she killed the Blight Terror all by her lonesome. That's exquisite. Thank you so much, Ariadna. Everyone's saying, uh, Kolbjorn is the best companion. Nah, son. Of course, would I rather have him in this situation than you? Oh, absolutely. But you were exactly what the doctor ordered in that situation right there. Run. 100% the most annoying attack is when they summon endless portals. Like, we're taking a lot of damage, and dare I suggest, some of this damage is pretty tough to avoid. Hopefully we don't have, like, a real boss battle at the end of this. In hindsight, might have been smarter to just take the jewel, but, you know, I ain't about that lifestyle necessarily. You ever listen to the Rocky Four soundtrack? There's no easy way out. There's no shortcut home. I say, well, hey, take, you know, if the road's under construction, take a back road home. I don't know what I'm talking about. This challenge has actually lowered my IQ by 40 points, so I'm sitting at minus 28 right now. What do we get? Four fame, three encounters. That's irrelevant. We know what all the cards are. And a secret compartment. It's going to be tough for us to... Oh, never mind. Said it was going to be tough for us to roll under a 10, but perhaps not. Wow. Well, I was technically right. <laughs> we did roll a 10. I forgot we got rid of our blessings. Gambler's Jewel. Hey, that's pretty good. We didn't need it, but it's pretty good nonetheless. This is actually excellent. Buy healing, just in case. We have so much gold. Like, we would be remiss if we didn't get nearly to full HP. Then maybe equipment, if there's anything that helps with chance cards, which there's not. And then for selling, it's irrelevant. Okay, so Mr. Potion, hello. Right, we gotta beat the trade for an angel feather. You begin the negotiation, I recall. No need to duplicate. Save Ariadne, because you might need to duplicate for the final challenge. Good. At last, after all these years, I will be free. This is the tough one. Don't, you, you've done, well, it's not tough. You've done so well, just don't get tilted now. Slow that down. Will set you in good stead from here. Drink the contents of the vial. Please, mortal, you don't understand. This is my only chance for freedom. No, Theophilus, you don't understand. It's my only chance for freedom. I didn't realize you were playing, uh, you know, a game where there's only one right solution. I thought they were gonna give me myriad ways to reach the end. Instead, I gotta drink the contents of the vial. You forced my hand here with your intellectual dishonesty, Theophilus. You forced me. A huge success card is added to every chance card gambits. What secrets could this reveal? No, Theophilus exclaims. You have condemned me to eternal torment. Oh, okay. What a nice guy. Well, NL, you did just condemn him to eternal, eternal torment. Did I? Or is he a trickster who was trying to take advantage of me from the very beginning? Did I say, hey, dude, help me out? No, this weird goblin man freaking... Look, it doesn't matter. He's gonna die. A single shade is actually, like, the easiest enemy to face in this entire game. I don't know if something went wrong in the development process, but 
oftentimes, if you just attack them, they don't do anything. It's really just embarrassing for him. Dude is getting rattled. So now we gotta beat. So it turns out it's not the devil. It's like the devils. Multiple jerks. Well, look on the bright side. I'm no longer. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm no longer condemned you to eternal damnation. Uh, you are now a pile of rib cages. So nothing to worry about. Death is no release for me. Theophilus whispers as he fades away, and soon it won't be for you either. All right, sure, whatever. Um, Lord Apollyon, let's go. I need your help. I will do the gambit. Accept. Yes. This time, I do need you to duplicate this. Pay attention. Oh, what? This is madness. Obviously, redraw. Oh! oh I, I have to be honest. I had lost all hope. I, you know, I know I've said some stuff about the justice challenge over the course of my gameplay. This is now number one challenge in my annoyance books. We had every piece of equipment I can fathom to make it easier to succeed, and then whether or not you win still comes down to a, like, 30% roll at the very end. Beautiful. You cheated! How did you do it? Tell me what magic you possess. The room falls into shadow as Apollyon throws the table aside with a flick of his wrist and advances on you. Flames erupt from the hearth and Apollyon seizes you, declaring, I must grant you your prize, mortal. But now that I will not forget this, the world fades to darkness. Can Imperial you justice. To things you awaken now. later just out of sight of an empire fort with various items and potions scattered around it. You gather what you can as carrion birds suddenly lose interest in you and fly away. Gain a hundred max life? What? Well armed and feeling invigorated, you approach the fort. A call to arms rises from the walls as twin ballistas stall your advance. Lose 50% of your life. That's one way to do it. Imperial soldiers block the path ahead. Do not fail yourself now. I love RNG in game design more than most people. This mission might take it a little bit to the extreme. Do not fail now. Henricus the Warden, loyal to the Emperor and unforgiving in battle. Heavily armored a knight can easily turn the tide of battle. We have no companion. And that's completely acceptable. That's fine, I can live with that. That was not smart. Okay, I understand. Two hit combo. Okay, no, 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 We're not going out like this. You're smarter than this. Musketeers go first. If you want to take damage, be my freaking guest, dude. Musketeers go first. Get down to brass tacks. And make these guys pay the iron price. Good quality roll. Strike down anybody who stands in your way. This is what Reaper's Arrow is built for. To it, I swear to you, I was mashing the button. Maybe that was my problem. Keep him at a distance. Good, 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 good. You got more than half your HP left. You started to tank these dudes down. Roll away. Strike. That did like no damage. Get bashed. The great bashing has commenced. It feels so good. I'm taking out all my latent frustrations for this whole game on this guy right here. And you know what? He has deserved it more than anybody in the history of Hand of Fate 2. Even though he wasn't even like the main antagonist. Get thrashed.
the birds are already feasting on the greater part of the fort's garrison. You gain easy access to the fort and locate Estrella in her cell. Took your time, she says with a crooked smile. Estrella, you don't know the half of it. You briefly relate the difficulties that have beset your other companions as you exit the now deserted fort. I overheard the warden say that someone gave them information, told them right where I was going to be the day they ambushed me, Estrella says, pausing to relieve a fallen soldier of his weapon. It sounds like someone with a lot of clout went to a lot of trouble organizing all this. You're making some powerful enemies. What? Sylvie only? How so? There is much left to do, but we are beginning to. The Little Devil. Dwarven Hagler. That seems like a good card. Gambling Hansel. Return to Rumstuck. The Peeler! Ram Shield! I'm so happy. You, I, I know it might have been frustrating. You might treat this as like a... You know, as a little bit laborious to watch me do the same challenge three times, but... At least we silvered the Devil Challenge. I have no idea what it takes to get the gold, but so be it. You know, we're done. We can move on. We'll probably do the Moon next because it's new, and then we'll go back to the Star. For now, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, click the Like button. Upside a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. And everybody join me in flipping the bird to the Devil Challenge. No disrespect, men.